Hi there, Virgo. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I'm thanking you for tuning in to the energies and influences coming through for your monthly reading in love for May 2019. Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, this is a condensed general reading, so please only take those portions that resonate with you. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable. I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot, and it helps to bring your vibration into those future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out that description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Virgo, off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Great card for the month, Virgo, the Ten of Cups. This is water energy, represents a fa happy family life and contentment. And this is lasting happiness because it's inspired from above. It's true love. It's better than you expected. And you're going to be embarking on something that makes life worth living. A happy home and shared love and blessings. It's peaceful. And your family around you. And a grateful and joyous family. And you have enough happiness to share with those around you. These are emotional connections and home life that are blessed. So take time to be grateful for all the love and happiness you have in your life and focus on what you do have, not on what you have not yet received. You see, the rainbow is symbolic of the connectedness with God, with creation, and of the fulfillment of great wishes, the fulfillment of lifelong dreams. This is high days and holidays. Sometimes it can be a wedding. It is a rainbow of promise, the ultimate in happiness. A lot of love is available both to give and receive. And if you had a string of bad luck or anxiety about something, it's over. And with good results. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. Really good energy here, Virgo. Number three of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Empress. This could be a Taurus or a Libra. It could also be you if it's prominent in your chart. This is material abundance and fertility and fruitfulness. It can stand for a person's mother or someone mothering and nurturing. It also is natural growth. This card is an omen for success. Ruled by the planet Venus, the Empress represents the productive generative activities in the subconscious mind after it's been impregnated by seed ideas. The subconscious has control over all steps of development in the material world. This is material wealth and marriage and fertility for would-be parents. It's love through compassion and nurturing. It's an opening to beauty, pleasure, and abundance. There's passion and sensual involvement with the world. And this is a time of passion and of sexual desire and enjoyment of life. It represents sexuality and creative impulses and generative energies. And your health will improve. This can represent a person's mother. Or it could be you showing a motherly concern for another. This could be a mother figure. This is a person that questions none of her own decisions. You may be in a position of nurturing someone else or several others right now. Or you could be caring for children or the sick or being supportive of a spouse or a friend in need. And it's, import it's appropriate for you now to nurture because you have the inner strength and the ability to do so without depleting yourself. This can also refer to a desire for pregnancy. There's a, a feeling that there's a need to focus on family. This is both financial and emotional support. And now your third card. And this is how it affects you, Virgo. It's your attitude. The Two of Swords. This is air energy. This is indecision. A stalemate. A standstill. It's postponed decisions and you're in stasis. It could be a stressful decision. You need to seek more information. 
So look honestly at a change that needs to be made and ask questions because you need more facts and contemplate your options. This may be putting off a decision. For now, feeling uncertain. You may not wish to offend or hurt someone involved. You may need to withdraw to contemplate your options. Collect more facts needed to make the decision. You might be ignoring your emotions and using logic to deny how you are feeling. Or you may be denying the truth of something so you don't have to deal with it. But ignorance or denial can cause you to be stuck in a circular emotional pattern. This is a situation of great tension. You're at a crossroads with another person and neither wants to give in. So take the high road in this situation. And with courage a change can be made and often good comes what out of appears to be a difficult situation. But being frightened or unsure of which way to move, they might do nothing at all except trying to ignore it. So listen to both sides of the story and you might learn a secret. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Nine of Pentacles, Virgo. This is Earth energy. This is your element. This is self-sufficiency, self-reliance, and discipline, and luxury. This is independence from financial concerns, and you've accomplished your goals and you feel secure. There's abundance. And now you're going to be able to further your career and your projects. You'll enjoy a secure base. It's material well-being. And it's well-controlled thought. And solitary enjoyment of the good life. This is love of gardens and home. It's earned rewards and the fruits of labor. There's been discipline here. She tamed her impulses just like she, she tamed the bird on her arm. And it may be a time to act with such discipline. And you will accomplish much by taming your instincts. This could also be a time of self-reliance for taking charge of your own future. You may be craving more independence, or you may have already accomplished much and now it's time to indulge and pamper yourself. Sometimes you might give off the impression you do not need anyone else. You're just someone who's able to enjoy the good things in life even though alone. This is solitary pleasure and physical comfort and material success. But it does not imply that you are devoid of relationships. It just says you're at peace within, and therefore you do not need constant companionship to feel contented. These are material benefits that are promised and appreciated. It's material abundance about to come to you. It's a great satisfaction. It's due to the reaping of your own labor. This could be a promotion or more money coming in. It's living an ordered life. It's thriving and appreciating your accomplishments. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The Queen of Swords, Virgo. This is air energy. Could be a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. Or it could be you if it's strong in your, your chart. I do have a birth chart calculator at the bottom of my description box. This is an independent, mature person and they have authority. They have a keen mind. They could be a writer, a lawyer, or a minister. They could be a teacher. They're a great communicator and professional. They're strong-willed and they've been able to cope with loss and they'll provide solutions with truth and honesty and they teach us to accept life as it is. This is a person that has great clarity of thought this can indicate pursuing your desires with strength and maturity. This is a person that treasures solitude and they're able to overcome loneliness by doing independent projects. They have a very sharp, keen mind and they're able to see justice and fairness. And yet they may be overcritical of their own thoughts. They should, ha they should learn to have greater compassion for their self. They have known loss or sorrow and this experience has enhanced their wisdom and they love to share their knowledge. Rational thought is sometimes at the cost of emotional insight for the queen. She can be cutting with her words and is well advised to consider others' feelings when they speak the truth, because it is possible to be both honest and kind. This indicates professional counsel may be needed, so look for forthright and clear characteristics, and be clear in your decisions and your behavior, and make sure your point of view is thought through 
and with sharp wit and self-possession stand by it. This is a woman who has perfected the mastery over the air, words, thoughts, and opinions. And you're like this queen. This is a person that has strong will and determination, and she has supportive strength. A person who is loyal and true. They give good advice because they are wise and worldly. This is someone being direct and insightful, maybe high-minded. They're precise and uncompromising. They're witty and articulate. They're stoic and disciplined. They might be doing things like seeing with clarity or upholding high standards and acting with honor. Could be rising above distressing thoughts, teaching, mentoring, or speaking harsh truths, even reprimanding. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck, The Sacred Traveler, by Denise Lynn. Virgo, you've got voyage of the heart, and love flows through you and to you. You are beloved. You are deeply loved and profoundly lovable. You are a sacred vessel, vessel for love to flow through you. God, the Creator, is love, and in your essence, so are you. In matters of romantic love, all is healing, or is already healed, on the inner planes. So trust the messages from your heart and follow them, even if they are at odds with your mind. Angels and guides are communicating with you. Listen to their soft whispers. And the sacred traveler wants you to know that joyous love flows through you and to you. You deserve love. There is nothing you need to do to receive this vibrant energy. Tenderness and devotion are finding their way to you. The traveler walks with a light heart on the path knowing that she is surrounded with love. It's truly a day for rejoicing. Your capacity for receiving and giving love is expanding. Let your heart lead you forward. Your mission on earth is to deepen your ability to impart and accept love. And that is happening right now. Here's your take note moment. Joy attracts joy. Happiness attracts happiness. We create a frequency today that determines our future life. Think about what your dominant thoughts are. Steer your thoughts to raising your vibration. So feel good now and the rest of the day, and you will make your tomorrow even better. Some people say that when they see it, they will believe it. That is putting out doubt to the universe. So remember, when you believe it, that's when you will see it. Thanks, you guys. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.